Serve it up today, Frenzy. Uh, this is a map that's kind of like uh, data core where I feel the grenade mechanics and the way that various different classes work uh, actually enhance the, like, you know, go really well with the map itself. And this is one I would recommend highly for smaller groups of people. Doing my traditional doubles, of course, but um, even about 12 people would probably be good with this one. Uh, obviously, once you get to, like, 32 people, then it's just going to be too much of an, a Frenzy. Duh! <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, Frenzy here is, like, by complete accident, just a very good map to play in Team Fortress Classic here. I gotta say, Kasali's uh, signature is hidden stupidly well in this one because, you know, when you go around the edge of the map trying to look for it, you're not really looking around until you get from a certain perspective. See, oh, there it is, just kind of hiding in the, the dark. But, yeah, anyway, um, another map where I feel a lot of different classes have an opportunity to shine... I mean, it's cramped enough that, you know, your heavy weapons guy and your devil man and your so like, your, your offensive classes will work really well alongside the medic with their infect ability. But, you know, you got some spots for the sniper. Like, obviously, if you feel like hanging around in this little corner here and you're not too worried about people spawning next to you, you can get some real cheap kills. Not only that, but you can obviously, like, shoot out here. Uh, using classes with jump abilities, you can get up here to rain some hot death. That's real cool. Um, the only real place I can think of... For the engineer is not here because you know try to build here and you're just gonna get like you know strung with grenades but possibly up here or even better in one of the like this little side area here you might be able to build some stuff but I don't recommend it too much so I guess this isn't really a good engineer map speaking of sniper these corridors could do pretty good too if you you know your buddy or like you know what more like if you have more people going around you might be able to do that here but otherwise it's a really good map not terribly deep, but, you know, classes, like, various classes will work and, like, do a decent job here. Uh, maybe want to give it out. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if it's me in my particular setup, but does anyone ever notice, uh, especially headphone users, sometimes when you start up the game after closing it, you close it and then you immediately come back in. The, like, the higher frequencies are played up more. Like, you might even be able to hear it in the video. It's really hard to describe, but it just bugs, drives me crazy. It might just be a random glitch on my end, so I'm not going to elaborate too much but i swear there's like the high end frequencies get played up versus the lower ones it's really it's just probably me going insane but whatever let's go and immediately after i said you probably don't want to play engineer here my buddy is being engineer well you know i'll carry it's good it's fine i say carry and he's probably going to do better than i am because i'm terrible at this game let's be real that's what i mean look at this very easy to get around as the a soldier and if you know how to time your jumps right you could probably even get on top of the uh roofs there but see like what i mean i mean the lights you know grenades could be pretty effective here just because there's a lot of different little holes in the map and like areas like this where you could like th like if you cook that and throw it at the right time you're probably gonna catch someone off guard you know stuff like that so yeah this is a uh, not quite data core or, or like you know what was the other map there's another map i said worked really well in this game not quite to that degree of like you know like compatibility but it's pretty high though I, I don't ever recall playing this on an actual uh tfc server so that's a shame yeah even here i don't know if i don't believe there's any class that could throw that high oh hell yeah even better i didn't think that was possible but yeah you can even get grenades up there from here so there's a lot of options a lot of verticality that you don't usually see in this kind of like you know like, you know, in Team Fortress Classic here. I haven't played many vertical Team Fortress Classic maps, which is a really odd statement, but you know what I mean. A lot of, you know, the Capture the Flag maps that are really popular, like 2 Fort and, like, you know, I don't know what space he's doing. He's spacing out. Duh. But, um, you know, a lot of those really popular maps tend to be more spread out. Like, my favorite, like, you know, Badlands is very vertical. Like, there's obviously places to take advantage of rocket jumping and stuff like that. But it's not usually multi-level quite like this. So it's quite refreshing. It's a nice change of pace. Some master plan, obviously. I, I can't, you know, argue with this guy. Well. Wow. What a nice guy. Teamwork. Oh, that must have hurt, like, being shot in the face by a rocket. Because, you know, that typically hurts. Yep. That was a great throw. Yep. Instant revenge. I love when that happens in this like kind of stuff. 
Yeah, Carly, do it. You, you help me with the armor early. Come on! Oh, come on, you dumbass. Thank you. I mean, you know, I, I appreciate the help, but, you know, it's kind of obvious what I need there if I'm shouting medic. Goodness gracious. There could have been an engineer call, too. NG, I need armor or something. I don't know. What would you call that? I would, I'm not going to attempt the British, like, the Brooklyn accent. Carly's been doing everything today. He's been engineer, he's been pyro for a bit, he was medic, and now he's heavy weapons guy. Unfortunately for him, I'm about the end of the video, so I'm sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, Frenzy and Team Fortress Classic. This is another a solid map in, from Half-Life into Team Fortress Classic. Definitely top tier for this kind of thing. Uh, only with smaller players, though. Anything more than, like, 16 is just not gonna work as well. Yeah, try it out, though, for small teams.